Hey guys, it is Codectual here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install a music bot onto your server. So, what we're going to have to do is go to the developers applications and I'll provide that in the link and you're going to create new application. So go ahead and click on new. Give yourself a unique name. If you have yourself a common name, it might not generate through. So give yourself a unique name. We're going to go with uh, Codectual here. Number one, good actual number one. You can put in the app description of whatever um, the function of the bot um, does, you, you know, and as well with the icon if you want to give it an icon. We're going to go ahead and create app. Then we're going to go to create a bot user. Say yes, do it. Public bot. Make sure you click on the save changes. Next thing, what we're going to need to do is download the bot script. So, um, download clone or download, then download zip. And we're going to go distract that on our desktop here. Next thing, we're going to download Python. So python.org slash downloads. Make sure you get yourself the 3.5.0. Even though it's dated back in 2015, as I was setting this up, it said it needed Python 3.5.0. That is the specific one that you need. So go ahead and download that, install it. And next, what we're going to have to do is set up the config files. So once you extracted it, you're going to go to the config folder. Make sure you back up the example permissions and options. And right click on it, get rid of the example underscore, and just have permissions.ini. And same goes for the uh, permissions here. So get rid of the example underscore, and it's just permissions.ini. So what we're going to do next is open it in Notepad++. Uh, if you don't have Notepad++, uh, there will be a link in the description. I strongly recommend that you get it. So it's asking for the bot token and the owner ID. The bot token is where we're going to go back to our Discord developers website. And right here it will say username. Then it will say token. Click reveal token. Copy that in, paste. Next, what we're going to have to do is go on to our Discord server. And as we get the client ID, if I right click on my name here, it'll say copy ID. Yours won't show that unless if you hit the settings gear on the bottom, then you click on appearance. Then make sure developer mode is enabled with a check mark. Go ahead and click done. Then you'll be able to see copy ID. Then click on copy your ID. And that will be placed in. Save that. Go ahead and close out of it. Now to set up your permissions, open with notepad. Let's go ahead and minimize that. So. This is the default block for if you want a specific group or a specific user. For example, if I just wanted my friend here just to uh, be able to control this bot, you're going to copy his ID. It'll go down to the user list. As it's green, you're going to have to comment out the semicolon to enable that function. Once it's green, it's no longer um, it's commented out. It won't function. So you have to get rid of the semicolon. Paste in the ID of the user that you want access to the bot. Uh, if you want another user, a specific user, we're going to go ahead and get another ID. Make sure you add a space afterwards and add that. Uh, you can go ahead and click Save. If you want the specific user or the specific um, role, like such as what group they're in, to have full permissions over the bot, right here's the do so. Make sure you get rid of that semicolon, put in the ID, 
and they'll have full permissions. So each block has a description. It's that simple to have certain people have permissions. You don't have to set this up. You can do it um, here on the Discord itself to allow certain users to go talk in certain channels and have certain bots. It's a little bit more of a pain in the ass, but it can be done that way. Now, what we're going to do next, so we're done with this. That That's it. We're done with this. So, uh, also, if you don't like the prefix, you can change that. Uh, I'm just going to put the at sign here. That's just me for an example because I already have an existing bot with the exclamation point. So you can change the prefix as well if you truly wanted to. So that's it. Now we're going to open up the folder. It'll say run.py. Command prompt will open up. And this is Python running its course. And I don't know if I clicked on Save Changes or not, but I'm going to go ahead and click Save Changes. If you haven't, definitely do so. So now the script is done. So as you can see, the uh, code uh, codexual number one is not even on the offline and not even online. So this is where we're going to have to go to our link here I will have this in the description as well where it says client ID that's where you need to put your client ID so right here copy your client ID paste that in copy that link now and paste it into your browser Now it says add bot to a server, select your server. Okay, and it's now authorized. So, that being said, codexual number one. Let's go ahead and maximize this. Codexual number one. So, right now it's offline. As soon as we run the bot, it'll start appearing online. So run bot dot bat. That will start up the bot here. So there you go. It's now online. It automatically joined. It's going to start playing some music here. There we go. Oh my goodness. There. So we had it on. <laughs> um, it randomly, as soon as you start it up, it's on autoplay. It'll join in. Um, that's if you're in the channel. But um, as you see, the, my normal prefix for my normal bot, this popped up. But as I changed the prefix to the at, so you can change your prefix. Um, so by default, it's this, then the command. But uh, for the one that I did, so I did at, then we're going to go ahead and type in play. Uh, and it can be a keyword such as, I'm trying to think of a name. We're going to go with Biggie Smalls. Uh, you can type in Biggie and it'll add that to the queue. And as you can see, also in command prompt here, it shows you the feedback and the commands. So that's a little nifty. Um, I would like for the command prompt to integrate that whenever we type in, uh, in here, instead of typing in there. I don't know. That's just personally me. Um, but I think it would be cool to mess with someone when they're listening to music and you're not on the channel and just mess around with that. Um, Another way is if you don't want the bot in the channel, you can actually disconnect it by closing out command prompt. It'll log out of the server completely or type in disconnect. It'll keep the bot in the server, but it won't kick them out of the server. Type in disconnect. I guess it doesn't want to go through. 
We're gonna go ahead and rerun this command prompt. All right, did I spell disconnect incorrectly? No, I spelled it correctly. And you can type in skip and go to the next song. I'll go ahead and lower down the audio volume. So I'll go to the next song. You can type in play and I'll go to Biggie and it'll play the next song. And if you don't want to listen to this song, type in skip. And now it'll play Biggie. There we go. Um, if you want to pause it, then at pause. If you want to turn up the volume, then you give it from 1 to 100. And that just got really loud. So, and disconnect. There we go. Now it disconnected. So, um, that's, that's basically it. I will add all the functions of the commands. And if you guys have any, any questions, um, any concerns, go ahead and drop a comment down below as well give me a thumbs up share my content uh, also subscribe to my channel that helps me out so so much i can't ever ask for anything else other than those three like share and subscribe if you can definitely subscribe you will get more of uh, notifications uh, new videos uh, from reviews tutorials me just dig it around while I'm live streaming etc so uh, if you guys also want to join in on my discord channel go ahead do so um, I also do give support here on discord if um, um, if you have any questions comments uh, on something else, just go ahead and drop me a, uh, a comment here on Discord. I'll most likely answer here faster than on YouTube itself. I also do have a website with nalock.com. Visit, register. Other than that, guys, have a wonderful rest of your day, and hopefully this video helped you out tremendously. Take care.